from massive communication arrays to deserted airplanes. These are seven abandoned military sites around the world. Number seven, Fort Carroll, Maryland. Let's kick off our journey with the smallest abandoned military site that I can remember, Fort Carroll. It's not an optical illusion. This 3.4 acre artificial island slash bunker was built in 1847, mainly to protect the city of Baltimore from, I don't even know. It was part of the military defense of important ports on the East Coast. In 1853, a lighthouse was added to the fort, then in 1898, it was replaced with the lighthouse you see in this picture. By the time of the Spanish-American War, the fort's weapons were obsolete and had to be replaced. By the time the upgrades were done, the war was over. By 1920, all guns had been removed from the fort, and by 1921, the army officially abandoned it. In 1958, a Baltimore attorney purchased the island with the intent to build a casino on it. Sadly or not, depending on your views of gambling, the development plans never materialized. Nowadays, the fort is a habitat for wild animals and urban explorers who can swim. Number 6. Savannah Army Depot, Illinois This installation located on the eastern bank of the Mississippi River is by no means small. This 13,000 acre depot was opened in 1917 and developed over decades. By 1962, it was designated to become one of the largest weapons depots in the country. In this aerial photo from 1997, you can see the hundreds of bunkers scattered across the land. Here are some maps from back in the day. The area was primarily used as a proving ground, also known as a weapons test site, also known as don't freaking hike here. By 1938, production, testing, and storage ramped up tenfold. So just to be absolutely clear, from 1918 to 1921, this was the Savannah Proving Ground. From 1921 to 1962, it was the Savannah Ordnance Depot. And from 1962 to 1967, it was the Savannah Army Depot. From 1976 to its eventual closure in 2000, it was known as the Savannah Army Depot Activity. After its closure, around 9,000 acres were transferred to the Upper Mississippi River National Wildlife and Fish Refuge. The remaining 3,000 acres will be transferred over after the environmental cleanup is complete, which might take a long, long time. Just a quick side note, I asked you all what you would like to see in upcoming videos and judging by the poll, almost all of you will love this video. Comment below with what you would like to see in any upcoming videos. Number 5. Chinook Air Force Base, Illinois. If you ever find yourself about 130 miles south of Chicago and adjacent to Rantoul, Illinois, you might be standing on the grounds of the decommissioned Chinook Air Force Base. This is what the field looked like in 1939. It was originally built in 1917 as one of the 32 air service training camps after the United States entered World War I. In April of 1917, the United States possessed only one fully manned and equipped aero squadron and about 250 aircraft in total. To meet the demand for pilots and aircraft, Congress appropriated $640 million to the cause, which in turn led to the creation of Chinook Airfield and many others like it. The $640 million is about $12 billion in today's money, which is still a pretty small amount considering the budget of the US military for 2020 is $721.5 billion. Immediately after the war, the thousands of pilots that had trained here went their separate ways and about 30 people were tasked with maintaining the base, which was nothing more than a storage depot for spare parts at this point in time. The airfield survived closure in the interwar period by becoming a major training facility for the Army Air Corps. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, Chinook was flooded with new recruits and volunteers, so much so that the 15,000 man quarters they had were not enough. The student load peaked at around 25,000 people in January of 1943. By 1944, the Women's Army Corps School was established, and later that year, the Army Air Force's training command moved their helicopter training to Chinook. Needless to say, this base was an essential part of the war effort. Following World War II, Chinook Field became Chinook Air Force Base and continued operations until 1993. 
The end of the Cold War and the reduced threat of future conflicts prompted the government to downsize the armed forces. The base was open for 75 long years, and a lot of the former buildings are in use today in public capacity. Perhaps the coolest picture from it all is this one. In 2019, cargo planes and jet engines from the recently closed aviation museum in the area could be explored as they awaited removal. Pretty crazy sight to see in the middle of nowhere Illinois, huh? Number 4. 20th Guards Bomber Aviation Regiment, Russia How's this for a change of scenery? From Illinois, we travel to the middle of nowhere, Russia. Disclaimer, I am not sure this is 100% true information, but from the research I did, it makes the most sense. The pictures we are looking at here today were taken by a Russian photographer who did not disclose any information about the location or the place. I've covered this before, and not much has changed. After some time, I stumbled across a Forgotten Airfields website. They claimed that the Smolkamenka Air Base was active between 1929 and 1998. The last regiment to be stationed there was the 20th Guards Bomber Aviation Regiment from 1994 to 1998. Subsequently, the aircraft were retired to the Voronezh military airfield. I believe the pictures are from there, considering the regiment consisted of 30 Su-24 Fencer fighter bombers. It makes sense. What do you think? Here's a picture of two for comparison. They sure look similar, huh? Number 3. NATO Troposcatter Monte Giogo, Italy Let's stick around Europe for a little bit longer. Located in the mountains of northern Italy, the Ace High Station Livorno Montegiogo was built during the 50s as part of the Allied Command Europe system. These giant antennas were used for better long-range communications and nothing more. Abbreviated to Ace High, the fixed service NATO radio communication system had 82 stations in 9 countries all over Europe. There was 18 stations in Italy alone. By 1980, the program was completely shut down due to the advent of satellite communication, and for the most part, each ace high site was abandoned without a care in the world. I wonder what the total cost of this project was. I can't find any numbers on it, but for comparison, there was a similar system built in Alaska. Called the White Alice Communication System, the network was built and operated by the US Air Force, and it consisted of 80 radio stations. Not all of them were built and not all of them were big, but for only 31 sites, the cost ballooned to over $300 million. Number 2. Fort Point, California This place is cool and old. The fort was finished in 1861, weeks before the start of the American Civil War. Thankfully, the action never got close to San Francisco. Though it was in the plans, the CSS Shenandoah, the most dangerous Confederate vessel, was going to attack, but the captain found out the war was over before he reached the San Francisco Bay. A little more about the Shenandoah because it's an interesting story. The ship fired the last shot of the Civil War, circumnavigated the globe, evaded the Union Navy for 27,000 miles, sunk 38 ships, captured over a thousand prisoners, and finally surrendered in Liverpool, England, some six months after the end of the war. Back to Fort Point, the place outlived its usefulness and it was deserted. The plans for the Golden Gate Bridge were actually changed by its architect, just so the fort wouldn't have to be demolished. It later became a national monument, and now it proudly guards the San Francisco Bay, just without any guns or soldiers, and from not much, to be honest. Also, you could check it out in GTA San Andreas, which is why a lot of you have probably seen this location. Number 1. The Ga Raider Array, Ukraine Nicknamed by shortwave radio enthusiasts as the Russian Woodpecker because of the repetitive tapping noise it created, the Daga Raider Array System was the USSR's way of protecting the motherland. It was probably powerful enough to detect a missile flying over the Atlantic. The thing is, for a long while, no one knew where this strange signal was coming from, and some people believed it to be a mind control device operated by the Ruskies. A more sane theory is that it was a number station. A little while ago, I did an in-depth video of number stations. It's really fascinating stuff, and I am sure you will like to learn more about it. Don't miss out. The signal disappeared in 1989, as quickly as it appeared in 1976. Nowadays, the Daga 1 rises through the thick forest located uncomfortably close to the Chernobyl power plant. 
If you have played Stalker, then you know exactly what we're talking about here. Or maybe Call of Duty Black Ops? Hmm. Seems like the site will never completely disappear from our modern culture. Check out the featured comment below, subscribe for more World on Earth, and I'll see you in the next video.